Hello everyone, KJ4YZI, Ham Radio Concepts. Welcome back, happy Easter. I hope everybody's being safe and self-isolating, self-quarantining, social distancing, and just staying home and we're playing radio, right? What a better time to finish my playlist on some of these HF digital modes that a lot of people don't even know or don't use anymore. There's a lot left out there other than FT8 even more than PSK31 and RTTY. I started a playlist a while ago last year and started with modes like Olivia, Contestia, uh, Hellschreiber, and a lot of people have never seen those or they don't know they exist. There's a lot of uh, Olivia um, action out there lately, but there's some modes out there that have their own little unique advantages for weak signal and for you know just another way to interact. And we're not talking about FT8 style where it's just going to do stuff and you're going to watch it like watching paint dry. We're talking interactive where you can keyboard to keyboard type. You know, we got nothing better to do right now than to stay home and learn more about ham radio. Take the trip with me and let's continue this playlist. Learn about, you know, different modes that uh, you can do out there. Uh, some of them are very efficient. Some of them work at five watts when some only work at 50. But, you know, uh, you don't need to go out there and expect to have a gigantic antenna at 10,000 watts. And really, I never use more than 30 watts in these digital modes, and I can make contacts all over the world with 20 watts if I want to. Especially if I'm portable, it's always 5 watts. I don't go any more than 5 watts for these digital modes. So in this video as a primer, to get back into this while I got time, let's look at a couple of things, just an example of the program I use, what I'm talking about with HF digital modes. If you're a new person to the hobby and you haven't subscribed, hopefully you're doing that now. But if you're new and all you've heard of is FT8, check out this video and the videos to follow in this playlist so you can see what else is out there learn about this stuff and now you got the time to experiment and use it. We'll also touch on just a couple examples of sound card interfaces. You know, basically to do these digital modes you need a radio, HF transceiver, an antenna of course, and then you need a computer and to interface the computer with the radio, a sound card interface. Now back in the day, you know, growing up without money, I was making my own cables with isolation transformers and resistors to try to get the level from the audio of the computer to the radio without overdriving it and make it so that it would work. Now we're blessed with radios like my ICOM 7300, my 9700, where I can plug a USB in the back of the radio and just operate it from the computer, but again, interacting. I'm actually typing this stuff in. Hi, my name is Eric. My call is KJ4YZI. I'm, I live in Florida. How are you today? And that's, you know, a, like a nostalgic version of the internet or chat rooms. But I think you're going to like watching this stuff. And even if you don't participate in it, at least knowledge yourself on it. So you can have those discussions in your group meeting when you make contacts on the weekly Hellschreiber net. You're like, Hellschreiber net? Exactly. Stuff out there. Let's check out some of these HF digital modes. But first, I'm going to go in and just show you a couple of examples, as I said, of softwares you can use links to show you where these other frequencies or other modes would be on frequencies, um, some interfaces that would connect from your computer to your radio and get you geared up to uh, have an idea of what we're talking about. And now, here it is, Ham Radio Concepts. I got four tabs here as just as examples of different sound card interfaces that you could use and one here in my room that I haven't even made a video on yet. That's coming. West Mountain Radio has some that are, uh, you know, very common and most popular. The, uh, you know, rig blasters, uh, different models of rig blasters and cables to accompany different radios. Uh, this is if you have a radio like even an older you know, 30 year old radio or something that you can use without a USB port in the back, like my 7300, you would use a sound card interface. So, this is one scenario from West Mountain Radio. Signal Link from Tigertronics is another very popular and common one. Again, every one of them has their own claim to fame, but they do the same thing. They adjust and modify and, and you know, handle your, you know, connection from your computer to your radio for the audio levels transmit and receive and stuff like that because you have to have a way for the computer to you know key up the radio and pass the audio without overdriving the radio signal link is another good one i made a video on this one and i've had this one before and i just sold it the mfj 1204 
another great unit. Um, it, it, it worked. It, it, it didn't require any setup, really. They have multiple cables and situations. You can use this with an ICOM 706, a Yaesu FT450, or, or whatever, with a certain cables, uh, and a good price point, too. I have one of these, made a video on one of these as well. This is the Wolfie Link. The Wolfie Link is cool because this allows you to do PSK and stuff, RTTY, from your smartphone or tablet to a radio like an FT817, 857. I've done it with my 817 and I've done it with my 706. I did sell both those radios. But uh, cool that you can be out there with just a smartphone connected with this interface to your radio and operate PSK and RTTY. Even a brand new device from Rig Expert sound card interface that I just received. Gigaparts decided to send me. That's in a future video. Another new option for a sound card interface to connect to a lot of different radios with custom cables that they make. We'll check out the Rig Expert TI3000 soon. One good site to know, and I've showed this in previous video, is bandplans.com. And the reason is this. It shows you based on the bands or the type where the suggested frequencies would be. For instance, if I go to 20 meters here and I scroll down, look, everything on 20 meters suggested where you would find those frequencies like Feldhell or Hellschreiber. Here's Hellschreiber here. Uh, you know, PSK 31, Thor 16, PSK 63, FT8, JT65, Olivia, Domino X. Uh, you know, we're going to talk about these other ones like D Throb and Domino X. But it gives you an idea of where you would find suggested frequencies to call CQ and see where these people hang out. And you could also do it up here by type. So if I go, well, where's Throb at? It's a little tough reading this here, Thor. If I click on Thor, it's going to give me different frequencies on where I might th you know, find Thor. Uh, 80 meters, 40 meters, and 20 meters. So pretty cool stuff. Got it. This is in the link in the description. You got to check this site out, bookmark it. And it'll tell you all kinds of stuff about different bands. Not sure the credibility or where this information came from, but it gives you a ballpark idea. Now, hamuniverse.com, this site has a list of some of the most popular ham softwares to use for digital modes. Now, I use Digital Master 780, which is in Ham Radio Deluxe. That's what I've always been, you know, familiar with and accustomed to. But some of the most popular ones are... Uh, Whisper. Well, that was, that's a whole different type. We're not talking about Whisper today. Uh, how about WinPSK? It's a PSK terminal program. Or Digipan. Digipan does some other PSK and, and you know, some other, uh, you know, digital modes. You also have uh, FL Digi, which should be in this list somewhere. There it is. FL Digi does a lot of different digital modes. Multi PSK is another one. They call it the Swiss Army knife of multi mode software. You know, Packet, PSK, uh, Ridi, all kinds of stuff. MFSK, Olivia, Contestia, Throb, Throb, Thor, all these, Hellschreiber, and stuff. So uh, when you click on these on this site, it will give you uh, supported modes, and there's a way to download it right here. So again, I can't help you with all the different types of scenarios and setups. I'll just touch on a couple of key features in Digital Master 780 that I use to give you an idea, but every one of these programs are set up differently. You may look at your waterfall on your radio if you have one, or you just may be hearing sounds like this. And a lot of different modes have different ways that they sound, but you may think, well, what am I hearing? Where are all those conversations happening? Well, that's where the software comes involved. The software is what you're decoding and typing into and having conversations on. Now, this is the software I use. This is Digital Master 780, and it comes with Ham Radio Deluxe. That's what I've always used. Uh, there, of course, there's a lot of different versions and softwares out there, as we showed you before. But this is what's happening. I have a 3 kilohertz pass band on the bottom here. My radio is set to the standard 20 meter PSK frequency which is 14.070 and in that three kilohertz i can watch individual separate conversations on psk there's a dx station right there okay you can see that uh earlier there was so many stations on here that you couldn't find a free spot i mean they're all they're all over the place people that are individually you know communicating keyboard to keyboard on psk now this is what's prompted me to make the finish of this playlist is there's more modes like this that just popped up here's olivia okay a lot of people don't use olivia but look there it is you see them typing up here this is what they're typing right here 
All right. And some of these modes are more efficient. Some of them are slower. Some of them are faster. Some of them you can send pictures in with it. Some of them it's very, very basic, but they're all designed with their own little attributes. You know, PSK 31 is great. Olivia is fantastic. Contestia. But what about Domino X and Throb? And all? look, let's look at the modes here in this program. Look at the different ones here. Contestia, different modes, different rates, different bandwidths. Um, you know, Domino X, uh, Hell Schreiber, Slow Hell, Feld Held X5, Feld Held FSK Hell, Hell 80, MFSK4, MFSK16, you know, MT63, Olivia, Olivia, RTTY, Thor, Throb. You know, there's a lot of different modes, and there's probably some modes that this program doesn't handle. But we're going to go, you know, this is just a ba basic primer to show you a couple of things on how this works to get you interested. But you got to follow along in the playlist to see about these other modes I'll demonstrate with John locally because I had to schedule somebody to help me with the video on the other end because I can't find anybody using those modes to make a contact and show you. Now, uh, a couple things you need to know is when you're using any software uh, between your, you know, you get your radio connected to your computer through the sound card interface or connected directly to the computer. Um, what you need to know is your audio levels don't need to be extreme okay if you look at the sound card here you want your receive level to be low where you can decode but it's not overdriving the radio if i turned it all the way up it really gets bright on here and it distorts faint signals these little tiny faint signals right here disappear when you get stronger signals and they get wiped out okay the same thing with transmit when you're transmitting you do not want your level you only want it high enough to where it makes your ALC meter on your radio start to flicker, okay? You don't want the thing overdriving. What happens? It distorts. Uh, it, it, call, you know, it gets messy, okay? And you could tell when these people are doing that because their signal doesn't look defined like this. It just turns into a solid white line without any little lines, and it's just overwhelming on the receive. So you, you want to just make sure with your signal link or your USB device that you turn down the receive and the transmit, and you get it to where... The, the, the audio is acceptable between the radio and the computer. That's a very big thing with any program or any digital mode you use. The antenna and the power level of digital modes does not have to be award-winning with legal limit. You understand what I'm saying? You can do this with a light bulb. Yes, there's people on YouTube that have made contacts on digital modes using a light bulb. You can do it on a dummy load. You can do it with a chameleon loop. You can do it with a dipole. You can do it with a vertical. You can do it with a homemade antenna. But you don't need to use a thousand watts on PSK. All right. And I'll prove that to you right now as I'm making this video. I'm going to dial this back. We're going to do 10% power, which should be 10 watts. Watch this. I'm transmitting right now. And uh, actually, like this there we go get that up a little bit my alc is just starting to flicker now at 10 watts i'm going to throw a cq out uh we were doing this earlier when i was playing with john on the other videos you're going to see and he was testing because he doesn't do it much he threw a cq out at 10 watts on his chameleon and two stations came back one from santa domingo and one from ohio on top of each other and we couldn't figure out what was going on because i was watching it and he's like, I don't understand. There was two people coming back to him right away. He started answering, turned into almost a pileup at 10 watts. He says, I can't believe this. That's what makes it fun. Okay. Uh, sometimes, like I just did, you'll call out. You won't get a response. Sometimes, you know, we'll go to 15%, which is not really going to give me much increase at all. But I just want to see what it will take to make a contact right here on the video. Uh, in the future, uh, with the videos coming up, like I said, I don't have very many people other than John on the other end because I can't find nobody as much as I call CQ. Nobody came back. So uh, if I can just, for an example, make one contact here. This is 15 watts with my high gain AV680 vertical and my ICOM 7300. See what happens. All right. Uh, I'm going to go like this. QRZ because I didn't get a station. So send it back. Now, what you see that little bit right here, I'll tell you about that in a second, what that little squirrely thing was. It's called a Reed Solomon ID, RSID. And that basically makes it pop up on everybody's window that says, hey, 
this guy is transmitting at PSK31 at this frequency uh, in this mode. And it gives them an idea of where I am and who I am. Let's see. Here you go. Now I'm at 15 watts right now. IV3HZZ. Watch this. Okay. This is just, I mean, this isn't, I don't script anything. It's just me talking and rambling, I know. But I just wanted to show you, look, 15 watts. I just made a contact. I mean, it just happened. Uh, I, it, uh, Italy, Victor 3, Hotel Zulu Zulu. So I don't know where that's at. Probably in Italy, uh, 15 watts. And uh, there you have it. So let's see him respond back. And then I'll uh, cut the video ahead because you don't want to see everything. Okay, seven three. Well, I guess seven three. I mean, <laughs> he's got my call sign. Oh, there he is. My name is my Michelle, QTH, North Italy. Okay, there you go. I'm at fifteen watts, guys. Fifteen watts. Don't know how much power he's running, but um, gives me a good signal. So watch, I'll do this. I can start buffering. See that I send back. Huh? Seven three. This is KJ four YZI. Okay. So there you go. That was a real time, not planned, station to Italy on fifteen watts. Uh, no problem. You know. But now there's other modes that will do the essentially the same thing. But I can go down to five watts on eighty meters in a noisy situation, and have the same result as fifteen watts here on PSK on twenty meters. Some of those modes are designed for, you know, uh, noisy bands and static crashes. And we'll tell you about those, you know, modes in the next video. You've seen enough here to get the idea of what we're talking about. Uh, digital modes on HF are great. They've been around for a long time. People use these all the time before FT8 even existed. And um, when all else fails, ham radio is there, man. That's all I can say. Keep an, uh, keep an eye on the videos I got coming up on the playlist. Hope this uh, gave you a little bit of interesting uh, inclination here to get on HF digital modes while we're home, staying safe in isolation. 7-3, everyone. KJ4, YZI.